Hello everybody, this is Karm Killed the Cat, and welcome to the first video in this Corona SDK programming tutorial. So, if you don't know, the Corona SDK is an SDK that allows you to use Lua to program cross-platform apps that use minimal platform-specific code to write for iOS, Android, soon-to-be Windows Phone, uh, they're almost done with that, Mac OS X, and Windows. So, you can write apps for all of those using almost 100% cross-platform code. So you'll only have to write a few lines of code to make uh, the your app work on each of the platforms. So uh, the first thing we're going to do in this video is learn how to download and install Corona, and the next thing we're going to do is just write a simple program that displays some text on an iPhone screen, or any other screen. So to download and install Corona, you just Google search Corona, and after some beer links, then you'll get Corona Labs cross-platform mobile app development. And after that loads, you'll be on the Corona home screen. So you'll have to create an account. I already have one because I've used Corona before. But uh, creating an account simple. I think you just need to give it your username, password, and email address. And then you'll have an account. And then you click on pricing. So. We're going to be using the free Corona SDK in this series, uh, mainly because I don't have the paid one. So with the free one, you get pretty much everything. Um, there is a revenue limit. It doesn't have it listed here anymore. It used to. I think there's some where you can find more details now to get the exact revenue limit for the free one. So if you plan to make money on your app, look into that before you publish it. You may have to buy the... Uh, paid one, but unless you plan on making a lot of money, last time I checked, I think the free one let you make up to a hundred thousand dollars a year. So unless you plan on making more than that, the free one should be fine. Though the paid one does give you access to the native uh, libraries for each of the platforms, and also offline builds, which is actually extremely helpful. But for now, we'll just use the free one. So click get started and uh, the website will detect what operating system you're running on and it will uh, lead you to the correct one but just to check if you're on Mac obviously click Mac Windows obviously Windows so now click download and it will download the installer right here so I'm gonna pause the video wait for this to install and I'll be back to show you how to install it alright so now that the installer is downloaded you just double click on it and it will open this window click next, agree to the license agreement, and then you just choose where you want to store Corona. I'm going to put it in my E drive because it has more space. Hit OK, next, and then you hit install. And this is just a progress bar, so I will come back when it is done. Alright, so now that it's installed, you just check this box that says launch the Corona simulator and click finish. So now we can close this window and you'll get a window very similar to this. You won't have all of these recent projects. Uh, this is because I've worked with Corona before. So now you click New Projects and you'll see Application Name. We're just going to call it YouTube Tutorial. You can obviously name it whatever you want. And for now we're just going to create a blank application. Uh, I prefer to start with a blank application but you can experiment with any of these and see what they do. And for now, we're going to use a phone preset. We can change that in the middle of the project. And we'll have the default orientation as upright. So click OK. And you'll get a phone. It'll probably be an iPhone. Uh, mine's on Android for some reason. Let's change that to an iPhone 5. And you'll also get a folder with a bunch of files in it. So see, so you have something called build.settings. Uh, we'll go over that in the next video. Config.lua. Again, we'll go over that in the next video. And then this image file with a weird name, um, this is for iPhones to publish to the App Store. You have to have a launch screen. Uh, most apps have it as a splash screen that just displays the company name. But to publish to the App Store or even build the app, you do have to have this, so Corona just provides a blank image. And then you have a bunch of image files that just say icon. These are all of the different sizes that you have to um, have your icons for to publish to the iOS and Android app store. So uh, in the distribution tutorial, which will be 
much, much later in the series, I'll go over how you set all of these up. And then, last but definitely not least, the most important file, for now at least, main.lua. So, we're going to open it with sublime text, and you can see it's a pretty small Lua file, it just has a comment in it. And just to show that Corona is working, let's actually make this not full screen. Just to show that Corona is working, let's actually see if I can increase the text size, I can. So again, just to show that Corona is working, we're going to display some text. So you say display dot new text, and then as parameters you give it a table. And in that table, you give it some data about the text. The first is the string. We're just going to say, hello world. The next two elements are the positions. So we can say x equals, and we need to say text equals here. So we'll say x equals 100, and y is 100. Next, you have font size. Font size I think that's how it's I think that's what, those are the right cases font size we will say 30 and fonts uh, you can download your own fonts but for now we're just going to say native dot system fonts and we'll go over the native library and what all uh, all the things that it has in a later tutorial um, and next is the width and height of the text so we're just gonna say it is 300 for the width we need to say width width is 300 and height is a hundred and we can cut this off somewhere just do this tab that in so now if we save this then we get hello world um, it's not entirely on the screen probably should have Add the X in more. Now if we save it, uh, it should be somewhere. Here we go, hello world. It's not exactly centered, but that's okay. So we have our first text on the screen. And we can do a little more if we want. Uh, we can say display.newrect. And this we give an X, Y, a width, and a height. So the X we'll say is um, 400, uh, actually no we can't do that, uh, 100, y can be 300, the width is say 200 and height is 400. So if we save this we get a huge box down here. And I'll go over what, uh, or more effectively go over all of the different things you can draw in a later tutorial, probably the next one, uh, and what you can do to change the color of the text, the color of the rect, or anything you want, and also how to draw things from image files. So that'll probably be the next video, but for now, we're just text or, uh, testing uh, that this works. And also, just one more thing, you can change what you're simulating. So you can see we go to an iPhone 6 Plus, too big for my screen, iPhone 6. Uh, you can choose iPads, again way too big for my screen, but you can zoom out if you want. Uh, then you have the non-iPhones, so all the Android devices. And then you can even do things like the Amazon Fire TV because you can publish to the Amazon store. Uh, but this doesn't look right, uh, there's stuff that we have to do to make it work for things with aspect ratios like this, and again, we'll go over that in a later tutorial. But for now, we've installed Corona and just saw generally how it worked. So that'll be all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.